Now I couldn't do a games room tour without showing my Tomb Raider Lara Croft collection. I've been a huge fan of the series since the very first Tomb Raider game. Uh, I had it on the Sega Saturn before the PlayStation. It, for some reason it got released on there first, but I do prefer it on the PlayStation. The graf graphics look really cool. Uh, one of my favorite games of all time. Just I was so immersed in this game with the level design, the, the feeling of being alone. Whereas compared to today, it's, it's totally different. It's more like Uncharted, which is a shame, I feel. But Lara Croft and the Temple of Horus didn't get a physical release in America. This is a release in UK, and it did get released here in Australia. It's kind of like a third, it's kind of like a Diablo type of game. It's really cool, and you can see some cool different figurines here. But if you can hunt down uh, Temple of Horus, do because you're gonna love it. It's, it's a really cool game. Absolutely, it's, it's great for what it was worth. And this is all I got for my games collection. There is only one PlayStation game and that was the original Tomb Raider. I didn't have anything else left in the collection. I got rid of that stuff years ago. I didn't really like it until I think uh, Last Revelation came out. So that was really cool. I do have Lara Croft and uh, the Angel of Darkness, which is a nightmare of a game. It nearly killed off the series, but everything else in there that came after that, I felt is really cool. Now this Lara Croft statue, I actually won this uh, many many years ago in a competition run by an independent game store. Uh, all you had to do was buy one of the Tomb Raider games that was released at that time. You went into the drawer and lo and behold I won it. 